friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW, AKA Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three getting back on track, watching my points and calories recipes for you. They are all absolutely delicious easy, nutritious, and full of protein, which is exactly what we need when we're getting back on track. So I'm super excited to share these three recipes for you. If you are excited about meal prep, please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel, kind of puts it out there in the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new and you're not yet subscribed, I would absolutely be honored to have you here on my channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified whenever I upload. I do upload about five days a week so you don't wanna miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for my brand new, newly released 2021 calendar all about self-care, fitness, weight loss, and even drinking your water. It is fully customizable to you which makes it a huge valuable resource moving into the new year. Also, so you'll find my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Again, essential moving into the new year to know exactly what you should be eating every day to reach your goals. I also have 30 and 60 minute one-on-one, -on -one, just me and you coaching sessions, which is really, really valuable as well. So check out my nutrition coaching website. Links, discount codes to the products that I shared with you today and the meat grinder attachment for the KitchenAid, which is huge, serious game changer right there is linked down in the the description box for you as well as my Facebook group which is another community that would be really grateful to have you be part of it so head on over and join us there so we've got some cooking to do let's jump in breakfast this week I'm making overnight oats but I'm not just making normal overnight oats I'm making proats otherwise known as protein oats it's really important to have protein with breakfast so I love overnight oats but I need to have that boost of protein so we just add a little bit of protein powder so let me show you what's in our oats we're doing a vanilla cinnamon blueberry oat you're going to need some unsweetened almond milk of your choice for protein powder, of course, I'm using Live Well. This is my very favorite protein powder, not just because it tastes really good, but because it's a complete protein. A lot of protein powders are not complete. They're a more broken down version of protein. Live Well is 100% complete. There's only two grams of natural sugar, 17 grams of complete protein, 16 grams of amino acids. This is a plant-based protein, so it's free from GMOs, soy, gluten, and dairy, but this does not taste like plant-based protein. A lot of times it can be chalky and kind of have an odd aftertaste. Live Well does not. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. This, of course, is the vanilla protein, but they also have cacao, unflavored, and coconut I have them all, they're amazing. I actually just bought this bag. You can see it's not even open because I was completely out. I will link LiveWell down below with 10% off for you guys. Highly recommend. This is, in my opinion, the best, cleanest protein powder out there. So I'll link it down below for you. You're of course going to need some rolled oats, chia seeds, jars of your choice. I have these kind of medium-sized ball jars, ground cinnamon, Fa A 0% non-fat Greek yogurt, and I'm doing a blueberry oat, so I have some organic frozen blueberries. You could do fresh or frozen. And lastly, you're just going to need some honey. So let's make some overnight oats. So to get started on our overnight oats, I added one teaspoon of honey to the bottom of my jar. It's much easier to weigh that out on your food scale than having to put it in a measuring cup. So I just weighed out one teaspoon of raw honey. To that, I'm going to add one scoop of my Live Well Vanilla Protein Powder. Highly recommend putting your oats together in this order because we want to be able to mix up our protein powder. So then we are going to add our other liquid, which is our one half of a cup of almond milk. And then we are going to take a spoon and mix. We wanna make sure the protein powder gets fully mixed with that almond milk before we add in the rest of our ingredients. And then we're going to add in one half of a cup of rolled oats into the protein powder. Don't make a mess like I'm doing. Go ahead and mix that up. Give it another quick stir. You just wanna make sure those oats get wet and into the liquid. 
And then we're going to add one teaspoon of chia seeds and some blueberries. I would say that I have maybe a third of a cup of frozen blueberries. They're zero point, so go ahead and add as much or as little as you want. And then we're just going to add a dash of cinnamon. Give that another quick stir, and that's our overnight oats. Pop a lid on it. Throw it in your fridge so that you have delicious blueberry, vanilla, almond, protein oats in the morning. So let's make up the other three jars. I almost forgot to add the Greek yogurt. So we want just a good spoonful of the non-fat Greek yogurt. We're looking for about an eighth of a cup or so. Again, it is zero points on blue and purple, and I'm on the blue plan, but you don't want to go too crazy. That's just going to add a little bit of extra creaminess to your oats. So that is what they look like. They look delicious. So again, pop a lid on and let's put together the other three. So here is breakfast, four jars of overnight oats. I ran out of frozen blueberries, so this one actually is like peach, pear, blueberry blend. You could really use whatever frozen fruit or real fresh fruit that you want. But I went ahead and made up four jars, again, using LiveWell. Definitely order this protein powder. You will not be sorry. It's seriously a game changer when it comes to protein. And it is one smart point per scoop for the vanilla protein powder, which is amazing. So each one of my overnight oats without any additional toppings, so you could add nuts, cocoa powder, bananas, peanut butter, kind of whatever you wanted. But as they sit right here, they are seven smart points on both the blue and green plan and only four points on purple because you don't have to count for the oats. They are 296 calories per jar. So I will probably just have the overnight oats. If I decide that I'm still hungry, I may pop an egg in, an egg or two, and that would be an additional zero points for me on blue. So this is a seven smart point breakfast and it packs over 20 grams of protein. I mentioned in my intro that I wanted to share with you guys a meat grinder attachment that goes on a KitchenAid stand mixer. This is from the company Amaze Chef. Thank you so much for sending this over to review and take part in today's video. I'm obsessed, you guys. This is super, super awesome. If you have a KitchenAid mixer, this is a complete meat grinding attachment. It includes three sausage stuffer tubes, a holder, four grinding plates, two grinding blades, a burger press, which is amazing, and a cleaner brush. The sausage attachments are actually three fold. You can make any sausage that you'd like, like boudin sausage, Italian, summer sausage, bratwurst, or even chorizo. It makes it super efficient and easy. So this whole meat grinder attachment is literally self-inclusive. It has everything that you need. It is $59.99, but I do have 20% off for you, and I will link that down in the description box below for you guys. Seriously, it's awesome. It's excellent, excellent quality, and it's completely inclusive for a food grinder attachment for an at-home KitchenAid stand mixer. For lunch this week, I am making a feta dill burger, but we are going to ground our own chicken. I'm super excited about this. I want to thank Amay Chef for sending me this KitchenAid mixer attachment to grind your own meat. This is going to come in extremely handy. I've explained to you guys a few times that it's hard for me to find ground chicken in my area. So this handy little attachment right here will grind any meat into any consistency that you want by simply changing out this plate. Now it comes with several different plates. I opted for this one because I want my meat to be just a little bit bigger ground. It comes with a burger press, which we'll actually be using, sausage stuffers, everything that you need to grind your own meat at home. So we are actually going to take these chicken breast tenderloins, run them through our meat grinder, and have ground chicken. It's so easy simple and you know exactly what you're getting in the ground chicken no added anything to it so i'm going to show you guys how to use the attachment and of course i'll definitely link it down below for you guys with a discount so let me show you what's in these chicken burgers of course, chicken breast, chicken tenderloins of your choice. We need one egg. These are really small. They're from one of the guys Troy works with. He has chickens. These are super small, so I'm going to use two of the yolks and then the rest of the egg whites to make up one large egg. You'll need a shallot, some Ritz crackers, 
salt and pepper. Fresh dill is preferred. I couldn't find it, so I ended up picking up dry dill. Crumbled feta cheese. Whatever tzatziki so sauce that you want, I'm using this plant-based from Good Foods. I love Good Foods. And this is two tablespoons for one point. You can't beat it. You'll also need some oil and some minced garlic. So let's get started. So I went ahead and added some of the chicken tenderloins here to the top of my stand mixer. You wanna make sure that it is in the lock position. And then you're just going to turn it on as normal. Now this comes with the tool to push the chicken down as it grinds. It will come out at this consistency into our bowl. So let's ground up some chicken. ground chicken that easy you can do beef chicken pork you name it you can do your own ground meat at home and again control what's going into what you're making for your meals so i need one pound of ground chicken for my burger so i'm going to weigh that out on my food scale super easy to take this apart just pop out the tray here everything is hand wash only so make sure that you do hand wash it go ahead and release the pin on the attachment and then we're just gonna pull it off. And again, it's a hand wash only. So we're just gonna make sure everything is nice and clean. And it does also come like I showed you with the cleaning brush. One pound of ground chicken breast for our burgers. We do have a little bit left. You can just toss this into a freezer safe container, toss it in your freezer, or you could even make an additional burger or use this for another meal. But I'm loving this. I'm loving that I can grind my own meat. You can pick up chicken breast or thighs when they're on a really good sale because generally already ground meat is more expensive. So if you buy them on a really good sale and grind them up at home, you can definitely save yourself a ton of money. Even having a vacuum food sealer on hand would be a great idea because then you can vacuum seal your ground meat and have it on hand for recipes. So I will definitely link this down below with a discount for you guys. Thank you again, Amaze Chef, for sending this over. I am so incredibly excited about this. I'll also go ahead and link my stand mixer down below for you as well. Now that we have our ground chicken, we're going to make up our burger patties. So in my bowl here, I lightly whisked one egg. I also minced the shallot and added a big spoonful of minced garlic. You'll need five Ritz crackers. Go ahead and just kind of crumble those up into the meat mixture. We're going to add a big pinch of pepper and a big pinch of salt. And then we are going to add in dill. So I'm using dried dill, so I'm going to add a decent amount. This is a feta dill burger. So we want to make sure that that dill really shines through. Go ahead and mix that together really well before we add in the cheese. Now we're gently going to fold in one half of a cup of feta cheese. Now I used full fat. If you want to reduce the points of the burgers, feel free to use a fat free feta cheese. That should help reduce the points a little bit, but I prefer full fat cheese. So I'm taking the points for full fat feta. So go ahead and mix that in, just fold it in nice and gently. And then we're ready to form our burger patties. Now that we have our chicken burger mixture, we're going to use the hamburger press that comes with the attachment for the grinder. This is really cool that this actually comes with the attachment. So I'm going to add one fourth of the ground chicken here to my burger press. And then we're simply going to put the top on it and push and this will form our burger. Remove the top and there is our burger and I'm going to add it here directly to my skillet. And there's my burger patty. So I'm just going to make three more. We'll add a little oil and get these cooking on the stove. Once you have your burgers formed, we're going to add about a tablespoon of oil right over the top. And that's just going to help these brown really well when we're cooking. So we'll add these to the stove top over medium heat until they're cooked through. So here are my feta dill burgers. These look so good. I am pretty darn excited to have these all week. So my plan is, is to top them with two tablespoons or one point of this tzatziki dip. Now, if you use a different one, you'll want to recalculate your points, but I'm going to add two tablespoons or one point to my burger. And then the buns that I'll use are these great value hamburger buns. Like I've mentioned before, I just buy these, freeze these. And as I want to use them, I just pop it out and defrost it. So these buns are three smart points. So if 
You just want to have the burger, no bun, no sauce. The burger itself is five smart points on both blue and purple and six points on green because you have to count for the chicken and the egg doesn't actually change the points. I will be adding one point worth of sauce. So my burger, no bun, will be six points if I decide to have a bun, which I may, I may not. It would be an additional three points, making it nine. I will serve this with a veggie and this is going to be my lunch. I'm pretty excited. These are huge burgers and keep in mind that these are quarter pound burgers and they have over 30 grams of protein just in the burger. So this is a protein packed, healthy, clean lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making lemon poppy seed bread. I wanted something sweet, but not overly sweet because it's right after Christmas. And let me tell you, I had a lot of my famous frosted sugar cookies over Christmas. So this is a great bread for breakfast, a snack, or a sweet treat. So let me show you what's in our lemon poppy seed bread. First, you'll need all-purpose flour. In this pretty little container is my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. You know I love Lakanto products. I use their monk fruit, their powder, their golden, really a lot of their products, including their chocolate chips and their baking mixes. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with a discount for you guys as well. A pretty good discount, 20% on their website, which makes them less expensive than the store. So definitely check them out. The recipe calls for buttermilk. I couldn't find buttermilk, so I'm just going to substitute whole milk, light butter, eggs, vanilla extract, or in my case, vanilla bean paste, and lemon juice. I'm of course using Lakanto powdered monk fruit sweetener for the glaze, poppy seeds, baking soda, baking powder, and a couple of fresh lemons. So let's make some bread. So to get started on the bread, we're going to mix together our dry ingredients. So I have two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to put in a pinch of salt. We need one quarter teaspoon of baking soda and one half of a teaspoon of baking powder. This is a quarter teaspoon, so I'll do two of those. And then we are going to mix this together. You wanna make sure that everything gets mixed really well before we add in the wet ingredients. We're going to start adding our wet ingredients, starting with three quarters of a cup of milk. And again, the recipe does call for buttermilk. I just could not find that. We're also going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, or vanilla bean paste in my case. I went ahead and zested both lemons. I'm going to put the majority of the zest into my bread. The rest of it will, will be reserved for the frosting. We do need to add our one cup of monk fruit sweetener, one quarter cup of lemon juice, and two eggs. And now stir everything together until it is fully combined. Lastly, one half of a cup of melted and cooled butter and about a tablespoon of poppy seeds. Add those and again, give it another stir. Do not over mix, just stir until your butter is incorporated. Look at this lemon poppy seed bread. This looks so good. It just came out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool. While it's cooling, we're going to make the glaze. So for the drizzle, I put one half of a cup of the Lakanto powdered sugar. It is a two times the sweetness. So the recipe calls for a cup. We actually only want half of a cup because again, it's two times as sweet as regular sugar. I am going to go ahead and add in that leftover lemon zest because I would like the glaze as lemony as possible. I have one tablespoon melted butter. Go ahead and add that. Give it kind of a quick stir because we wanna watch the consistency of the glaze. So I have my two very small lemons that I squeezed, but again, we wanna watch the consistency. So we wanna add in our lemon juice little by little until we just have a glaze consistency. So it looks like that's about all I'm going to have to use of the lemon juice. So we'll set this aside until the bread is completely cooled. Once your bread is cooled, go ahead and take your glaze and we are just going to drizzle it right over the top. Now, if you didn't want to make the glaze, you would be able to save a little bit of points and calories by just dusting the top of the bread with the Lakanto powdered sugar or even regular powdered sugar, kind of whatever your preference is. But I decided to go for the gusto and do the glaze. 
I don't know that it really adds that much more in points because the only thing that would have points would actually be the butter because the Lakanto doesn't have any points. So go ahead and add your glaze and then just kind of drizzle that right over the top, spread it out nice and even. So I went ahead and cut it into eight slices. So this is a big slice of bread. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and then I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is the lemon poppy seed bread. Oh my gosh, this looks and smells so incredibly delicious. You can see how large these slices are and they are five smart points on all plans 179 calories that's all so you could definitely enjoy this as part of breakfast as a snack or even as a sweet treat and you can get that lemon poppy seed goodness for five points 179 calories thank you for joining me on another weekly ww meal prep i hope that you enjoyed these three recipes i hope you are as excited about them as i am all three will be on my recipe website that is linked down in the description box along with my amazing 2021 calendar my nutrition coaching website this meat grinder which is serious game changer and links and discount codes to all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. You'll find them all in the description box down below. There's a little arrow on the right hand side under the video. Click that and it opens up the description box. I actually get that question a lot. So definitely check that out. If you enjoyed today's meal prep, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And last but certainly not least before you go, do me the honor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for spending some time on your Monday with me and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.